Anyways, before the video starts, I'm sorry for any garbage no clip. I am just really bad at this game, even when I'm playing at half speed. So, uh, give me a little bit of a break. So, other than that, yeah, the video, the gameplay is mine, and I did do it all myself. So, I hope you enjoy. So to start with, I love the whole like a uh, like fifties feel, or is it sixties? I have no clue. But like, I love the whole feel of like an old movie. This honestly looks really cool. Like this whole filter it has, and like I like the occasional like colored things, like the clown at the beginning with the you know the uh, top hat. That was really cool and really well done. So nice to dab for that. And uh, the one balloon that was light, like that was all completely red. I'm pretty sure that's a way to like set up for the next part. So. Yeah, that looks honestly pretty cool. And leaving the part also is really awesome. So, like, the ink coming down, that's really cool. Yeah. So, when entering this part, you can basically see the words fun written and then a giant clown show. That is really cool. And once you enter the ship part, you see a lighthouse in the background and a bunch of balloons, which actually kill you. And then it turns into like this factory type of thing. I don't know what to call, but it looks super cool. Then there's this hand where you, there's like a micro robot click. That jack in the box is also really cool. I honestly love that. The hand in the exit of this part, like that is really badass but that's going to be leading us to the second part so and one more thing to mention is that the sink in this part is legendary just absolutely amazing okay so as i said before there's the uh, hand transition which looks cool because the hand gets like thrown backwards afterwards and then once you enter the part every single block is a basically a bookshelf which looks cool which gives you the image of a library and that is really cool now i want to point out two things the grandfather clock at the beginning first of all looks cool and the second thing the painting with the lighthouse there's actually a secret skull that like creeps in which super cool. it goes red with the song also the duel is super fun another observation i can take is that the whole library seems to be coming to life like the outside too like if you look out the window in the uh, background it looks so cool first of all and apparently everything's coming to life which is super creepy but really fits well in my opinion definitely really cool also clown First observation is that all the, like, objects seem to be alive. Second observation I can make is that the clown seems to be, like, busting down the fucking roof and then coming in. Like, I, I don't know what he's thinking. Oh, yeah, and I'm not gonna forget the transition from the balloon. That was really fucking awesome. And finally, you know, the curtains. Yeah, that's just... Yeah, what do I say? Welcome to our wicked little fascinations, right? time to join us for the ride we devise an antiquated machination oddities await so won't you kindly step inside okay so the first observation is that this is like a fully lit up circus at some points and then a uh, like at the outside and others so that's really cool. And the second observation is that the Jack in the Box thing is talking. And that is so cool in my opinion. I just really love that. And then the uh, Christmas lights like join us for the ride where it says like that. It's not as cool as everything else. Honestly, it seems a little bit more empty than everything. But yeah, just the way it works with the song is really nice. And then the parts where like the ship where it just keeps changing from heaven to hell. That's really cool. And then like the vortex. Yeah, honestly, I can't say much. It's really cool. But like it. It, it just works. <gasps> and now this part. 
it's I love the dark atmosphere. It just feels really cool. And the fact that the uh, guy in the background right now, which you see in the exiting of this, uh, the exiting transition, he's also like somewhere else in this part. And it's like really cool because he's like playing a game of peekaboo or some shit like that, like a really scary peekaboo. And then you could see like this one cage, like like a cube is like stuck in it. Like it's really weird. I, but it really works well, I guess, with the theming of that whole part, so yeah. So it'll get a pass, I guess. Oh yeah. Inclined, toxiferitic exhortation you might find. You'll have us for the night. Fall in line, will administer inoculations. Turn the Nickelodeon and kiss your ass goodbye. This part is one a hell of a part. First of all, it brings back the circus and the Jack in the Box, or what is the clown? I have no clue. But uh, he's still singing, dude. It's so fucking cool, dude. He keeps singing in the background. He's still playing that same game of Peekaboo, and like near the uh, end, like first half's end, and like it turns into like the demon ball part, like in the beginning. That looks really cool. That whole like demon ball thing. And then, like, near the end, it starts, like, changing to, from all the styles. And you can actually see the monster from Crazy 1. Like, it is so cool. Oh, yeah, and, you know, the song is really funny from here. Also, screw that creepy-ass-looking clown, dude. It's so weird, but so cool. Ignore the background noise, so, uh, anyways, when you enter this part, you can see a bunch of clocks. In my opinion, this part dra drags a little bit, and I don't really like it very much compared to the rest of the level, but, uh, it's still cool, nonetheless. The, uh, you th other things I can point out are, like, there's a lot of, like, human skeleton parts. Like, there's, like, this ball part that has, like, the shape of a human skull, and then there's, like, this arm that's, like, around this pink orb. And, like, near the end of this part, you could also see a cage. Which, like, also holds, like, the, uh, pink orb that you have to, like, hit to, uh, you know, get into the, uh, wave. So, one after you jump over two more spikes after that pink orb, you enter the wave, which looks so cool because, uh, the, uh, place that you have to go is all light lit up with, like, some rainbow colors and it's super cool. But, like, in the background, if you look really closely, like, you can see so many paths and it's... Just honestly so fucking cool, and I don't know how, how I can explain, but it's so awesome. Honestly, just fantastic. <laughs> So finally, the uh, ending is so energetic. It's a big difference from the beginning, and it also brings back that clown in like the first ever like transition part. That is really cool. And it turns into like this awesome boss fight. I like all the like boom effects that it, like it's really cool because like it brings it's like a comic in a way. It's just really cool. Also, all the objects that were previously in the level are also brought back, like this like the skeleton hand and you know. There's also, like, new objects, like the finger gun. That's honestly really funny, on in my opinion. But that's just, I guess, a clown joke. I, my humor's trash, so that's just me. Anyways, that's pretty cool. So, before this video ends, I'm gonna add, like, two more sections, okay? First one being my overall opinions. And the second one being the full showcase of the entire level without me talking in the middle. So, that's that. Anyways, so, my opinions on this level... In my rating, in my opinion, this level is a solid, solid 9.3 out of 10. Why so specific? I don't fucking know. Don't question it, okay? But uh, 
this level, it has some of the best theming I've ever seen in Geometry Dash. It just all fits so well together. And if it wasn't for my garbage note clipping, I, it would have probably looked a lot better. But, you know, I, I'm bad. And, like, the gameplay, I'm not supposed to be commenting on it. But, like, it's pretty fun, even though I, like, only played through once in practice mode. It's honestly amazing how it's actually able to be this fun. Finally, uh, the final thing is, like, every transition is so smooth. And, like... It, the objects used are just amazing because I see so many reused objects and like the effects in the level are also amazing. Like I can't say much more like 9.3. There you go. Machination oddities await, so won't you kindly step inside? <gasps> We're inclined to sympathetic exhortation. You might find you'll have us for the night. Will administer inoculations Turn the Nickelodeon And kiss your ass goodbye 